Commentary done by Diggity. We have Terran Low, aka Locosito, starting the upper left hand corner as the. I have the names wrong. One of them is correct in Ninja, which is also Exodia. I'm going to leave it. This is on Vermeer. It's going to be Terran versus Terran. There are a lot of walkovers in this group, and we had the odd game with Mr. Cat to start. I believe Mr. Cat may have withdrawn otherwise from there. This is the winner's bracket, as there was a walkover for Locosito, so. Whoever wins this will advance. He's going to be TVT. Game one, there was just really odd play altogether from Ninja. With SCVs flying all over the place. Um, yeah, this is just going to be... I guess it's going to be Group F for... Uh? As opposed to the standard. I guess you could put in other words there as you see fit. Which I'll leave to your imaginations. A true test of where the audience's brain goes. He said, almost judgingly, but not actually at all. Anyway. I think this is Vermeer. Let me check the map really fast. Yeah, it's Vermeer. As far as TVT maps, this is all about map control uh, early game. I am thinking back to some of the Korean professionals and how important it is to get control of the mid-area spokes. It does feel like going for more factory pressure is a larger deal as when you're able to because it's somewhat easy with these spokes on the corners to get uh, more siege tank advantages towards your front and then box your opponent into fewer bases and kind of expand a little bit more comfortably behind it refinery grab barracks as well in the top corner it's an okay vulture map since we still do have the wide choke. I believe three factory is still the meta. Loco going to go for a cross map scout. Might come across the SCV that is scouting bottom right for Ninja. He's going to end up coming across Loco's base last. Actually, this would be a really big brain play if Loco, upon walking, well, it's still going to be 50 50 because he's going to see the SCV. He still has to go in and check that this is the base, but he saw that SCV, but now he's got to make a choice of which direction to go. A half second earlier, he might have been able to glean some information. It looks like he's going to choose right, so he's going to get the earlier scout, although a Marine should be constructed to greet him. One SCV on gas versus SCV still on gas, so it looks like Loco wanting to be the aggressor. Already has one factory in construction. I'm expecting a second one shortly. Marine holding the ramp. Not in a great position to block the SCV, however. The SCV is going to turn around. Well, was thinking about swinging back around, but going to hold. I believe this is going to be factory machine shop into expand. I would be shocked if it was Vulture first. And there are mineral. The barracks being floated out. Minerals constructed. The SCV might be able to sneak by. Not quite able to. Getting blockaded and also retreating as well, not going to try to angle around to get con confirmation information. SCV pocketing itself at the 6 o'clock location, which I'm wondering if this is going to be a factor down the line, especially if there's a factory push earlier, because you can get repairing SCVs right on the front to create havoc. Armory being constructed, so we're going to see vultures initially and then some goliath support to follow it up. Initial vultures and marines making their way towards the natural. A vulture rather than a siege tank is being constructed here for ninja. The SCV cycling right back across. The SCV actually exiting, wanting to blockade the ramp. And now that command center under fire. Units pulling off the line. The vulture did, so the marines are going to negate that first shot. And you do have that repair on that initial SCV. And it was a vulture construction to follow up. So now, Loco able to get the high ground is going to be able to halt construction. Maybe, I was going to say of that second factory, a bunker being built interior to base. This is a new one. So vultures are in position. A machine shop is there, but no tank being built. Second factory's halted at the last second. And then you have an overwhelming amount of vultures now in the base, plus Marines. And there's GG. 
just to let you guys know, it was a walkover from here, so Ninja will advance, but Loco moves on to the round of 16. Ninja will advance to the round of 16. And that is all I've got from Group F. Very weird group all the way around. I like that rush to start. Very appropriate of someone named Loco. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.